President Obama is back in Washington after a West Coast visit that brought him to Southern California. The President left LAX this morning, wrapping up a fundraising trip that brought in nearly $4 million for his re-election bid. He met with donors at two events at Sony Studios in Culver City, where he rallied the crowd, calling for an end to tax breaks for the wealthiest 2% of Americans. Later, hundreds of people lined the streets to catch a glimpse of the President as he headed to a $35,000 a ticket fundraiser in Brentwood. And new at 5, President Obama is calling for an investigation into why gas prices are going up so dramatically. It's welcome news for motorists who are feeling pain at the pump every time they fill up. Eyewitness News reporter Carlos Granda is live in Encino where he talked to frustrated drivers. Carlos. Well, that's right. We're all feeling the pain at the pump, but we have to fill up, and it certainly isn't cheap. For example, filling up the Eyewitness News van, well, on average, it costs about $50. Is it going to go higher? Many people, including the president, want to know, is this simply the law of supply and demand, or are we getting ripped off? Shahida Mohammed was filling up today at the pump and watching the numbers add up. She says what doesn't add up to her is why these prices are so high. It seems like every other day I'm doing $30, you know, $40, and it's just ridiculous. It hurts. President Obama announcing that Attorney General Eric Holder will put together a team to investigate possible fraud or manipulation in the oil markets. We're going to make sure that nobody's taking advantage of American consumers for their own short-term gain. As oil prices go up, so do gas prices, but industry analysts say oil shortages are not the problem. Blame the rise in prices on speculators. The price, the $120 a barrel that we hear about, that's the speculator price. Douglas Heller from Consumer Watchdog in Santa Monica says gas companies aren't complaining. They love what the speculators are doing because it doesn't really increase their costs per barrel. All it does is increase their profits per barrel. But others say there are concerns that the supply from the Middle East could be disrupted. The Middle East uncertainty about maybe the oil uh, supplies might fall in, in coming months if this unrest spreads to more other oil uh, exporting countries. Gas station owners say sometimes customers take out their frustrations on them. Everybody complains, but they know it's not, you know, they know we're not the, the cause, we're just, you know, we're just the... Uh, conduit the instrument. Maurice Jackson delivers fuel and says he's seen this before. He expects prices will go up for a few more weeks. I would think after the Memorial Day holiday, yeah, it, it might start stabilizing and coming back down. Now we're on Ventura, Ventura Boulevard and Zelza here at this gas station. Three a gallon, and if you pay cash, it drops down to four seventeen a gallon. And believe it or not, that is a really a good price. We haven't been able to find a much cheaper price here in this area, so hopefully this will help some people as they need to gas up for the weekend. Reporting live from Encino, I'm Carlos Granda, ABC Seven Eyewitness News.